Salvador's on the deck. He is getting up. I mean, that's a hell of a ploy if he gets a goal from this. Right, it is a free kick. I don't know who's taking it. Let's check. On our Martinez. Can he whip it in and can we get a third from this? Actually plays it to Salvador. And he can. And Johnny Salvador gets a hat trick. I get my wish. And it was a ploy. He was there. He just wandered over. It's a short pass to him. And he goes and buries it in the far corner. Lovely little bit of gamesmanship there. You love to see it. How's it going, everyone? My name is Stu. Welcome to my Football Manager 2024 save here with Deportivo La Coruña. Thank you for joining me in today's video, which is part number 60 of the save, where we're going to be playing two games, one in the Champions League against Pawak. P-A-O-K, -okay, however you want to say it. I'm just going to go Pawak. And then we're going to be playing against Barcelona in La Liga. And if you're excited to see how we get on in both of those games, don't forget to leave a big like on the video for me. And also, don't forget to subscribe as well. It's completely free to do so. You'll put a big smile on this face right here. What's not to love? If you're new to the save, welcome. Put your feet up. Chill out. Have a bit of a relax. Hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you want to see more from the channel... Have a look up there. There will be a playlist with the entire save in there. There are multiple playlists for each season. So if you want to break it up a little bit, you can do that as well. Right. Since you were last with me, a fair bit happens. Transfer-wise, quite a bit happens. I don't think we've brought anyone in. Well, that's a lie. We have brought two players in, although one's gone back out on loan. Um, I'm trying to think, actually. You saw me for the opening of the season, these two games. So Asnu had already come in. So you already saw the new left-back. Um, who, which is this guy here. That's absolutely fine. So we'll focus on transfers in first. David Gomez is a new backup goalkeeper who will be coming in next season, but we might still loan him out. He's young. He's 19 years old. He's at Granada. We've sent him out to Granada. He's having a lovely season. We want him to grow. It felt like the best thing to do was to keep him there. I'm pretty comfortable with that. He will be a good player to come into the side eventually. And hopefully he can get rid of this consistency issue. Then the other player I've signed. This is a bit of a weird one. Now, I have looked at this guy before. He's sensational, but he's a winger. And my thinking was, we'll bring him in this season. There's not really any room in the squad this season. I've misjudged it completely, to be honest. He would have been a really good asset. But he needs to be trained in a position that he's going to be useful for a sim, which you're probably going to be central midfield as a Mazala. But Ibrahim Levine is a Belgian international with one cap, 20 years old. He's a wonder kid. I wanted to give my kids a chance, so I've sent him on loan to Barcelona, but in the process, we really fell out with him. <laughs> so it could be really interesting to see what happens. Now, he hasn't played a lot for Barcelona, but when he's played, boy, has he played. He looks like he could be one of the best players in the world, and I loaned him to our rivals. I mean, could I? I could recall him. Could you imagine? Could you imagine if I recalled him before the Barcelona game that we're going to play today? I'm seriously thinking about it. But we're not going to do it right now. So they're the, scene, the players that we brought in. Uh, we brought him in for £26 million. We brought in Gomez for 13.75. All up front. None of it on instalments. We've kept to that this season. But then. But then. We had an offering for Nico Gonzalez. And he's gone. £59 million is the amount we ended up getting. Not all of it was up front. Only about 30-ish, 30 35 was up front. The rest was on instalments. But it's guaranteed money. It's a profit on what we paid for him by £11 million. And it also gets out of the way of one of our youngsters, Parejo. Because he would have been playing in the same position as Gonzalez. Now, Gonzalez has been superb for us in that last season. Um, who's only been here for the one season, but he was superb for us in that season. Genuinely, one of our best players, a good utility player. He's gone to Manchester United, he's made four league appearances, and he's doing the absolute work there. He's looking sensational from the looks of things. So I'm really happy for him. It was a deal that was too good to pass up. And as a result, we've got money at the moment. So we can put that back into the squad at some point. So I feel like it's a risk because we are obviously lacking depth now. But it's a risk that was worth taking. And we've made a profit on him as well. Um, we also let Renan go. I think you already... No, you didn't know about that. We finally let him go. He's gone to Southampton. It's a loan. He will be returning to us. And I'm pretty sure there's another one. Yes. Robert Navarro's gone as well. I nearly missed this one. Yes, we made a loss on him. We made a loss of £6 million. But to be honest with you, it is what it is. He would have done a decent job for us. But also, I mean, that star rating up there doesn't look particularly great. He's 28 years old. He's not going to get any better. We cashed in on him when we could. And that has allowed us to kind of have that little bit of money that we can rely on if we do need to bring someone in at some point. All of which means, as it stands in the league at the moment, it's not as good as it was last season. 
We're currently third. We have got a game in hand on the teams above us. And that would put us on 32 points, only two points behind the top. None of us, Real Madrid or Barcelona, have lost a game at the moment. Barcelona are on top because they're having a season like ours last year. They've drawn one. They've won everything else. Real Madrid haven't lost, but they've drawn three. We've drawn two, but we've won nine, but we've played one less. Our goal difference is the second best in the league. Uh, sorry, our defence is second best in the league. But our goals for is very much the third best. It, 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 we are struggling a bit. Like, we're winning games. We've drawn a couple. But we are winning games. Now, obviously, we battered Villarreal. We battered Getafe. We battered Bilbao. But other than that, we're squeaking by by one goal here and there. And I'm trying to work out what it is that the problem is. We have had injuries, though. That's the issue as well. So, Joe Veloso has just returned back from an injury. But Maria's just got injured. Rebel's just got injured. Wahi's just got injured. Litzkas has been out for ages. We've had a lot of injuries. So, we have been relying on some of the kids. Now, saying that, Romero, one, one goal and three assists. He's done really well. Pereira has looked like a good defensive midfielder. Sandoval's been forced to play. And although he hasn't got many assists, he is playing decently. Salvador has gone on a bit of a dry spell, but he has also started adding assists to his game as well. So you can see he got a hat-trick of assists in that game. But it's ever since he went to the international duty, he's kind of lost the Midas touch. So we're trying to mess about and trying to work out how to get him back to scoring goals because he's gone five without scoring now. So we do kind of need him to score in today's game. Now, I did mess about with switching which side he was playing on. I'm actually going to switch it back today because it hasn't worked. So... It's a bit of an issue. Now, financially, the club are looking like this. That is about 40 to 50 million better than what it was. We are definitely doing well in terms of getting the finances back on track. This season so far, we've made a profit of 38 million pounds. I'm really happy with that. Majority of that is on transfer revenue, so I am delighted. In terms of our debt and loans, currently transfer debt is down to 36 million. The net debt is coming down as well. I am feeling more confident about the financial side of this season. Now, on to the game at hand. And this is the 11 that we're going to be using against Powak. Now, I, I've been trying to work out what to do in terms of trying to get us... There's an ice cream van outside. Um, sorry, I can hear it very loudly through the house. Um, I don't know whether you can in the background as well. I don't know what to do. We've not really messed with anything this season compared to last season. So I don't quite know why we're struggling to score goals at the moment. Because, like, we've had Baskakov started off quite well. He's gone on a bit of a dance downtown in form. So he's come out. But he's come out at the same time Joe Veloso has got fit again. So hopefully Veloso can start getting kind of things moving again. Sandoval has been fine, I think. But obviously we are missing Litzkas. I've gone a bit more direct. I've gone a bit of a higher... Do you know what? I'm going to take those down because we're going to dominate the ball in this game. So they're not really going to help us. Um, I'm going to leave things as they are. I've tweaked a few instructions around here as well. Just see if we can get things going. I'm just going to hit that. We're going to press the two centre-backs as we normally do. I'm going to press the goalkeeper as well because he's probably going to panic a little bit. You can go onto your right foot. Right. Let's just get into the game. This is the 11 against Powak in the Champions League. And we're going to hope that we can make it another win. Because we have won most of our games. I say most of our games. I think we've only played two and we've won one and lost one. I can't remember. I quickly showed you the schedule. I can't remember what we did. But anyway, we'll go over that in a bit. This is the 11 we're going to be using for this game. It's Karna Sechi in goal. Martinez, Herculano, Riyad and Illich in defence. Pereira, Romero, Sandoval and Veloso in the middle. With Hlasek and Salvador starting up front. I don't want to fool myself into us needing another formation change because we don't anymore have the personnel I don't think to change it back we don't have the wing options and if we were going to change it to something I mean there's a few wingless formations we could move to but it's probably going to be a formation with wingers if we do have to change things and okay you know Hlajek can play out wide why he can play out wide we could bring um Levine back from Barcelona, but then he's not registered. But in theory, he could play, he can play out wide. It's his best position. We could do it, but I don't know if it would be the right thing to do. So I'm kind of holding off on that as an idea at the moment. We're just going to see what happens and see if we can just maybe just weather the, the kind of issue that we've got at the moment. Salvador with the header, and there is his goal. He hasn't scored in five, but he scored in his sixth. Johnny Salvador back in business. I mean, he still scored a good amount of goals this season already. It was just a surprise to see him start getting assists because he's not really an assist machine. But that, as it stands, puts us up to third in the Champions League league phase. It's a good little cross there as well from Martinez, who the start of the season, um, Quandemil had really kind of 
Quick Quindemil, sorry, not Quindemil. Quindemil had pushed him out of the side. But Martinez, since he's got feet, he's starting to slowly get there. The last game was a 1-0 win um, against Cadiz. It was a really shocking game. Like, we should have destroyed them and just couldn't. And he got the winner in the 94th minute out of 96. So, you know, he's, um, he's earned a little bit of uh, a reprieve from me, even though Quindy Mill was kind of dominating him. A bit poor passing there. But we've been dominating the ball in a lot of these games. It's just we've been not really getting the ball to the strikers and the strikers have not been having the best time so it's good to see that salvador is getting in there now he has missed there i can forgive it it's absolutely fine um i'm just happy that he's getting the shots and we're starting to see them because we weren't seeing as many chances from him or whoever his strike partner was and that was the concern and we were relying on other places on the pitch to get the goals I'm a bit concerned about Veloso at the moment he's not playing particularly well he is starting to get match fit so i would expect to see a little bit more from him and I'm just wondering whether maybe we need to rethink him. No, I'm, I see. I'm, I'm doing it again. I'm reacting very, very quickly to something that doesn't need to be reacted so quickly to. We don't need to think about where he plays just yet. We just need to give him some time to settle back in. Right. Herculano, building from back here. He signed a new contract, by the way. United were sniffing around. We gave him a new contract. He's accepted it. And, you know, he's committed to us. And he's literally, like, one of the best defenders in the league. So that is beautiful. Salvador might get another here. He doesn't. He has it just wide. But we are getting the chances here. I, again, we play wing play. And I don't really understand it. Because we're not directing our players to play wing play. I rather would prefer us to try and bulldoze down the middle, if that's okay, boys. So we're going to try and do that. And see what happens. Now, it is 1-0 at half time. But this is what I'm on about. Last season, at this point, we'd be 3-0 up. We would be. And we just seem to be struggling at the moment to convert those chances into actual goals, which is fine, other than when we come against, up against big teams because we need to take our chances and we're not at the moment. Um, these two, I'll tell I'm not happy with their performances. I'll leave everyone else the same. We're going to demand a bit more from the boys. Um, I have changed Sandoval today to an advanced playmaker as well. Just see if he gets a little bit further forward. Salvador was so offside there. It wasn't even funny. Right, Illich now. Going to go out wide, which is great when I've said play through the middle. Salvador's put it in the back of the net. The flag is not up. I don't know whether it will get checked. It doesn't look like it is getting checked. We have a second goal and I feel a bit better. I'll feel even better if we get a third. That's not me being greedy, but it's been a while since I've seen a third goal go in. Right, Illich does well here. Just kind of runs around them. Just decides he just wants to go on a bit of a merry dance. Ball in. Salvador makes the run in. 2-0. He gets two in this game. That makes me feel better about him. We're getting there slowly. We are definitely getting there slowly. Right, I'm going to make a substitution here. I have also brought up Carlos Soto up to the squad. He's a two-star player, three-star potential. He's not particularly good, but my thinking is he's got half-decent finishing. He's quick. He's just someone to throw in there to cause a bit of a nuisance. And you know what? I'm going to bring him on. He can come on for Hlajek because Hlajek hasn't particularly done very well. Um, and we're going to pop it Why? And you know what? Salvador is meant to be as a complete forward. I don't know why he switched back over. Um, you're going to be an advanced forward. And then for my next trick, Dvaloso has not played well. Baskov hasn't had the best run of form recently, but maybe he can pick things up today. And then I'm thinking Sandoval could come off for one of the youngsters, but I'll leave that for now. We'll make that a little bit further into the game. We'll just bring those two on for the moment. Soto's complacent. I mean, it's your day... One of your earliest appearances if not your debut and it's in the champions league maybe show a little bit more fire son right i'm going to demand more from the boys i would like a third we've dominated the game but i would like a third goal a third goal would make me really happy right a couple more changes we'll take sandoval off he's not really done a lot today so david can come on he can do the playmaking job he is more of a deep line playmaker but he can get forward just the same. We need to have a, I think I have had a word with him about his developments, actually. Uh, Romero has not been overly brilliant. So I need to make the change with him. I don't really have anyone else to make the change with, though. That's the problem. So I might leave him on. I mean, you don't need to change him. 6.7 is nothing to be sniffed at. So we'll just go with that, shall we? Um, and we'll just see what we can do for the rest of the game. I mean, with the changes we've made, I'm not expecting us to necessarily get another goal. It would be nice, though. We'll try and get the boys to fire up for the last few minutes. Get a third. Salvador hat trick would make me really happy, but it is what it is. Right, highlight. It is actually with Powak with possession. And they're going to try and come forward through the wing here. I know Martinez does really well to get possession back, though. Gets it to Parejo. Parejo doing a decent job starting today. He's actually played better than Rodriguez has. I think Rodriguez needs to be a little bit worried because he's had a very poor start to the season. Right, 
Illich now getting forward. Ah, oh, it's a poor pass, actually. But the ball actually ends up with Salvador into Soto. And Soto puts it wide. It is a free kick anyway. That would have been amazing if Soto could have got a goal. And again, Salvador trying to get the assists. It's something we're not used to seeing. But it's very nice to see. Right, um... For my final trick, I'm going to take Pereira off for Rodriguez. We'll give Rodriguez a few minutes. I've actually got one more substitution that I've completely ignored as well. Illich can come off for Asnu, and that will do it. Um, a 2-0 will be fine. I'd have liked more goals today. Again, it's the actual scoring of the goals which is the concern for me at the moment because we don't seem to be getting many compared to what we have been. But then, I suppose, I should say, the last few teams that we've played against, they have been kind of between 6th and 11th in the league. They're not exactly walkovers. But they're teams that we would expect to batter. Right, Salvador now has the ball. He's been tackled by this guy here who's going to get sent off in the 92nd minute. A bit annoyed at that because I feel like we could have got another goal in that run. Salvador's on the deck. He is getting up. I mean, that's a hell of a ploy if he gets a goal from this. Right, it is a free kick. I don't know who's taking it. Let's check. Arna Martinez. Can he whip it in and can we get a third from this? Actually plays it to Salvador. And he can! And Johnny Salvador gets a hat trick. I get my wish. Johnny Salvador with a hat-trick after five games without a goal. Johnny's back, boys and girls. Johnny is back. And that might just give us a bit more confidence that we scored a few goals here today, to be fair. And it was a ploy. He was there. He just wandered over. It's a short pass to him. And he goes and buries it in the far corner. Lovely little bit of gamesmanship there. You love to see it. And it is 3-0. Martinez with two assists. The fullback's doing lots of work today. And that will do it. That was a good performance. We were very wasteful, but we ended up with three goals, which is the most we've scored in a little while. So I will take that. And it does settle us, more or less, into this top part here at the moment. So just to confirm with the league phase of the Champions League, we have currently played four games. Um, I'll show you who those games have been against. So we started out with our first one, which was against Chelsea, ironically. And we beat them, which was delightful after the Super Cup shenanigans. Um, then we did lose against Manchester City 2-1, but then we beat Galatasaray. It's a bit of a concerning one again, 2-1. Uh, but then we have just beat Powak, which is the first time since a 4-3 win against Almeria where we just conceded goals for the fun of it. It's the first time since then we've scored more than two goals, which is quite nice. And then before that, it was Athletic Bilbao. So we're starting to get there a little bit, but... I am a little bit worried ahead of the Barcelona game. They've been very good this season and I think we might get battered because even if we... Even if our defence is good, I feel like they can still score one or two. And at the moment, we are struggling to score one or two. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to go away. We're going to kill the time in between five days and then we'll come back for it and we'll hopefully have permanently found our shooting boots or we'll get battered. We are back for the game against Barcelona at the new Camp. And this is the 11 that we are going to be going with. It is Carnesecchi in goal. Martinez, Herculano, Riyad and Illich in defence. We've got Rodriguez, Romero, Sandoval and Baskakov in the midfield. With Hojak and Salvador again who should be as a complete forward. And I keep forgetting to change it back. As the starting strikers up front. We do have an injury to Eliawahi that happened in the last game. He's out for four days. Won't be long term. We do also have Litzkas who's returned. Maximum of 45 minutes though. So he's nowhere near the starting 11. But is an option to bring on. Bit of a risk starting Romero. But he has had a good start to life in the first team. We're playing him instead of the next person who would start. would Which would be Joe Veloso. But Veloso really has struggled to get back into the team. Really struggled to get back into the kind of level that he was. I'm hoping it's temporary because he has been an important player for us when he's been on his top form. So, fingers crossed, it is only a little bit of a blip. Let's get into the game and let's see what we can do. And let's see if we can get a result against a team that have been very, very good this season. They're looking kind of similar to how we were looking last season. Sorry, one of my lights is a little bit funky over on this side. Let me just move that. Um, yeah, I, it's going to be a difficult one, isn't it? I mean, we're away from home. We're against a team that are absolutely bossing it at the top of the table. They have got mixed form recently. Pedri, we did try and actually sign him on loan twice last season. Both times club accepted, both times he rejected. So, very difficult. We're actually the better form team. Just a lot of the games we played have been, not struggles necessarily, but, well, no, actually, up until the last game, they were a little bit more of a struggle because they were mostly by one goal. And it's just a bit of a concern when it's only by one goal. Right, La Liga time. We're away from home. What will be, will be. We're playing against a very good team. If we can just sneak a goal, I will be very, very happy. 
but I am expecting us to probably get beaten here. If we can just press them, it'd be great. I mean, Vita Roke is already in, and it's already 1-0. I mean, it's being looked at. I've seen the flag move. I don't know whether it will be giving us offside. Arms are up. It's 1-0. It's a very, very early goal. And I think we have to be disappointed at that. I'm going to demand more from the boys. Bowie, of course, plays for Barcelona. He's now in their first team after really impressing with us last season. Um, obviously, we don't want him to have a good game today. But, well, we probably will. That's just the way it goes. Right, Karnasechi now building from the back here. Over to Riyadh. Riyadh out to Illich. Illich now looking for a way forward. Gets it to Sandoval. Sandoval kind of gets crowded out there, which is a bit disappointing for him. Um, I think we have still got him as an advanced playmaker. I am going to shift him back to deep line playmaker for this one because I think we need him. Though he's not the best defensive player, we need him to have a bit more of a defensive mindset today. So hopefully that shift will just help a little bit. Right. Illich now just running down his left-hand side really well here. Hopefully he can just find someone even just with a pass. Sandoval back to Illich. Whips it in. Looking for Baskakov here. And it's going to be a penalty. Early penalty here after Barcelona have already taken the lead. We might have a chance to equalise. It's being checked out. Baskakov was the one who was apparently fouled. And it has been given. And the penalty, I think, will be a Johnny Salvador penalty. Trying to work out the colours of the hair because he is a bit ginger. That is Johnny Salvador. He runs up to take it. And it is 1-1. We have a goal back against the league leaders. League champions from the last two years versus the league leaders this year. We equalise. It is 1-1 in the 10th minute. Johnny Salvador burying it in that bottom right hand corner and now we see whether we can build on that or whether Barcelona are going to keep coming at us well we know that they are but if we keep intercepting like that that would be great right Salvador weird choice of pass it wasn't even Sandoval it's Sandoval but now Salvador's got it and it's nearly an own goal oh it's so close to being an own goal there Awful defending. It's whipped in from Arna Martinez. Salvador's there again. And it hits the roof of the net. It's going to be a corner. And we are all over them at the moment. Right, corner. Hlajek is going to be the man taking the corner. He had the short option. Didn't take it. Herculano's there. And Herculano just heads it over. Had a chance to make it 1-0. That's how close we were to being 2-1 ahead. And as it stands, it is still only 1-1. But we are back in this game in style. That little period there, we were all over them. But will we rue the fact that we couldn't capitalise on it? Will we rue that fact? I don't know. I don't know whether we will. Right, it is a free kick to Barcelona here. It's banal to take. Standing over it. Hits it. Kind of sets you with the save. And it will remain 1-1. But it is going to be a Barcelona corner. Looking at the ratings. Rodriguez, Romero, Hlajek. None of them having particularly good games. Headed Kind of out. Salvador clears it. It's actually going to fall to Hlajek here. And Hlajek just chips it over Sasha Bowie. I don't know why he did that. I don't know if got Bowie doesn't play for the same team as him anymore. But it's a little bit of a weird one. I won't lie to you. Right. Momentum-wise, we're not having a lot of shots. But momentum-wise, it's all us. But the chances are falling to Barcelona here. It's whipped in. Karnasechi safe hands. Manages to hold on to it. And we will now, I assume, try and build from the back. Who's he going to pass it to? Karnasechi. I mean, it goes to Chandy Riyad. It's probably where I would have gone. Him or Herculano. And we build again. Riyad now. Out wide to Illich. Illich. Sandoval. Sandoval. It's a poor pass. Oh, no, it's not actually. Romero managed to get on the end of it. Tries to chip it forward to Hlajek. Hlajek doesn't do much. Rodriguez now has come forward with it. Rodriguez into the box. He's going to get it into Romero. And the youngsters hit the crossbar. And it could have been 2-1. But it's not. Illich manages to put it out of play for a throw-in. Bit of a reprieve so we can get back into defensive position. Romero has the chance to make it 2-1. He just can't take it. Klojek, I think, has played better than a 6.5, by the way. Controversial opinion as it may be. Romero as well. Salvador has a chance here to make it 2-1, though. And it's headed just over. We're having all of the chances here. Barcelona go through a flurry. We go through a flurry. But neither of us at the moment can get the... Not the finishing blow, but the, the critical blow. Right, Romero now with the ball. The youngster... Going out wide. He has got support behind him with Martinez. He's going to use it. Martinez goes back to Sandoval. Poor pass, but he manages to get possession back. Illich now. Going to get it into San Salvador. I nearly called him Sandoval. It's Salvador, and it is 2-1. And it's Illich with the assist. And we lead the league leaders by two goals to one in the 42nd minute. It's been back and forth. Sandoval with the mistake there. He gets it out wide to Illich. Illich just sees the pass. Into Johnny Salvador. 
And it's through the goalkeeper. Not very good goalkeeping there from Cochin. But it is 2-1 to us at the new Camp. In a very even game. Although XG-wise, possession-wise, we've actually been the better team. And passes completed-wise, we have as well. Barcelona have flattered to deceive so far. But you would imagine they're going to come back in the second half. Well, okay. I'm going to say I am delighted because I am. I'm actually surprised at that. I'm going to tell him he's got to calm down, Shadi Riyad. Formerly of Barcelona, of course. It might be an idea to take him off. Lajak, I'm going to tell him that he, I'm not happy with him. Baskikov and San, uh, San, Sandoval have done okay. Manuel Romero, not particularly great racing-wise. I actually think he's done all right, though. So we'll leave him for now. We'll leave everyone on for now. Opposition, let's have a quick check. They've made a couple of changes. So Vitinha has come on. He is a definite risk we have to be careful of. And this guy, Bernardo Sabencia, is an, ex an absolutely exquisite player. But he's not very brave. We're going hard on him. We're, we're going to target him and we're going to go hard on him. We're going to make sure he knows that we exist. They've got Ivan Tony on the bench at Barcelona. What a, what a world we live in. What a world he lives in. Ivan Tony, how much money would you give for that? That's probably a sore subject. Anyway, uh, second half, here we go. Barcelona, again, I'm imagining they're going to come flying out of the traps, but I'm hoping we can kind of do the same thing. We've got the better of the momentum to begin the half. Hopefully we can continue it again. Shot-wise, though, it's punch, counter-punch, move, counter-move. My goodness me. Right, we have our first highlight of the second half. Ball forward. Rodriguez manages to take it down. Illich now on possession. And now we have the chance to build from the back. Ball to San Salvador. I keep getting them mixed up. Salvador and Sandoval. We need to do something about that. I don't know what, though. Right, Riyad. What's he going to do? Get it to Sandoval. Sandoval into Illich. Illich now. Waiting for a run. Doesn't see one. Gets it to Baskakov. Baskakov's come out wide here to support. He's running down that left wing, which is his natural home. Looking for Hlasek. Hlasek down to Manuel Romero. And unless it gets given offside, the youngster might have made it 3-1. The youngster may have just made it 3-1. 20 years old, I think. He's from the academy. And he's made it 3-1, the youngster. Barcelona 1, Deportivo La Coruña 3 at the new Camp. League leaders versus the European and Spanish champions reigning. Headed down by Hlajek. He can do that, Adam Hlajek. He's good at playing as a bit of a target forward. He's not necessarily the biggest and tallest, but he can do the job quite well. Right, we are going to make a couple of changes. Baskov has actually not had the best of games, but he's actually done a lot of running for us, which has meant we can get into this position. He's going to come off. Romero is shattered. I'm going to bring on... See, this is the problem. Again, I don't know who to bring on because I'd like to put Veloso there, but I can't. This is where not having Nico Gonzalez is a problem because Nico could easily fill a gap. Um, I mean... I mean, I could bring David on. It's another youngster, though. Or, or we move that. We bring Danny Boedo on. Maybe. Maybe we do that. A little bit more energy. He's got a bit of pace as well. Danny Boedo started as quite a slow player. He's now actually got, I think, 14s for pace and acceleration. So he is a little bit quicker than he once was. So he can do the job well. We'll do that. Sandoval, I think he's going to come off. We'll get Litzkas a few minutes here, I think, as well. Um, doesn't feel like much of a risk when he's as good a player as he is. Right, Sabencia, this is what I mean. He is just absolutely ridiculous. Look at the state of that. I mean, I'm glad he didn't score, but I also feel a bit sorry for him. Right, Karnasechi kicking off with a goal kick. Herculano gets to Rodriguez. Rodriguez now over to Chadi Riyad. Probably going to look for Sandoval here. Or no, goes back to Herculano. I don't like the way we're playing it around here. We need to start getting forward a bit here. Right, Rodriguez. It's a poor pass from Rodriguez. But Vita Roque... Manages to somehow stuff it. But Karnasechi actually ended up making the save. So he didn't stuff it that much, to be fair. Right, whipped in. Araujo is there. And Karnasechi with the safe hands. He's got to be fuming at Rodriguez. Why are we doing this? I mean, we're playing out the back, I know. But come on. Use your brains, boys. Play out the back when it's appropriate. Goodness me. Right. Uh, uh, substitution. Sandoval is going to come off. Litzkas is going to get a few minutes here. Let's get him on the pitch and get some minutes in. I'm, I'm just... I'm a bit worried about Shadi Riyad. We're going to bring him off. And I'm going to bring on Rengifo. I don't know if he's... Rengifo ready for a game like this. But he's going to have to be. And we go again. 
Let's just see what we can do. We've got one more change left. Barcelona are currently all over us. Here's what I am going to do. We're going to do that. I was just trying to get... In fact, I'm going to put tempo up even higher. I'm just going to try and get the ball out to the flanks. I thought that was a goal then. I thought that was a goal. And I'm also... Do you know what? I'm going to take a pass out of defence out of the tactic just so we can just keep getting the ball forward because at the moment they're all over so I want to get some counter punches in right final change I'm going to bring Asnu on purely because of the tiredness of Illich even though he's been very good for us today right they've got to get two goals they are good enough to get two goals they've been all over us in this second half but we've earned it I think there it is what a performance that is what an absolute performance that is. Two from Salvador. One from Romero. Lozek with an assist. A great rear guard action in the second half. We got caught napping at the beginning. But to be fair to us, better possession, better passing. That's where it came down to. We controlled the ball a lot better than they did. Yes, they had more chances. Yes, they had more on target. Herculano, Martinez, Carnesecchi, Illich all did a good job. Riyad did not do a bad job either. To be fair, Rodriguez also did well, even though... Um, I worry about him a little bit. He stepped up in this game in a big way. No one let us down in that game. Rodriguez actually nearly did with a pass, but we still would have had another goal over them. That was a delightful performance, and that makes me feel a bit better because, again, the performances were being a little bit ropey. But we've just put three past the league leaders. We only conceded one, and that is going to help us because now if we win our game in hand, we go ahead of them and Real Madrid. They're still scoring more than us, but our defence, I think, is still going to be better than theirs is overall. Let's just have a quick look at the profile and see how things are going. So, currently, Salvador is the best player in the league. Um, he's also the top assist leader, which is nuts to see. I don't know where Karnasechi is. So, the problem with Karnasechi is he missed the first three games of the season. So, Aguirre Zabala is going to be on that list for a little while with the three. I mean, together, they would have made six. You argue maybe whether Aguirre Zabala... Two of his appearances, maybe. Karnasechi would have got in there. I don't know. It's, it's, it's something you could consider, but I'm not too worried about that. In terms of goals scored, Salvador's on eight. Bellingham's on 12. Bellingham's on fire at the moment in this save. Like, absolutely. He's the best player in the world, according to the save as well. I mean, that's probably going to be the future. Eliawahi, interestingly, on this list as well. Um, this is where we probably need to work on anyway. I mean, we last season we scored plenty of goals, but... We are being outscored by the other teams around us. Just on assists as well. Salvador's not the only one of our players on this list. But I imagine, if we have a look on here, some of them are not that far behind. Um, though they've been very evenly spread out other than Salvador. Salvador has literally been carrying the team when you look at it like that. 16 appearances, 12 goals, 8 assists. 20 goal contributions in 16 games. Sounds interesting. Wahi, interestingly, other way around this season. Got loads of assists last season. Didn't get any so far in the first 13 games he's played. So, it is what it is. But we need to start getting a few more goals from some of the players. I think we are getting there with that last performance. I think it was looking a lot sharper. Romero getting a big goal like that is going to do his confidence the world of good. And it looked, I mean, his development has already started to kind of get a little bit better as well. So... Hopefully he can start growing. But that is going to be it for today's video. I will see you in the next one. The next one is going to be probably in January. We'll go through. I'm going to try and get through this a little bit quicker. We'll go through until then. Um, we'll skip the Super Copper. One day you might see one of the finals of the Super Copper. But the next video won't be it. Um, we'll probably come back for Champions League. We've got Manchester United again. which is, I'm getting a bit bored of Manchester United. Uh, we'll come back for Villarreal and Atalanta at the end of the transfer window. I think that feels like the fairest thing to do. So... We're going to go through a little bit of a patch here. Celtic in the uh, Champions League. Uh, Lille in the Champions League as well. And then we'll come back for that final game against Atalanta and VOL. That feels like the best plan to me. Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed today's video, again, don't forget to leave a like on there for me. And don't forget to subscribe as well. Both of those do mean a lot. And you'll put a big smile on my face. What's not to love about that? I've been Stu. You guys have been awesome. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers.